so far. Hello. Yo, what hey. up, bud? What, what up? How's everyone doing today? Wouldn't right. you like to know? I would like to know, actually. I would Cock. very much <laughs> like to know that. <laughs> It's in your contract. You need to tell me how you're doing. Yeah, figure it out yourself. Whether <laughs> how about you ask me at the end of the session if I'm still alive? Okay, and then well, I'll see how you're doing at that point. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> sweet release. Um, uh, let's. You know what? Let's get started with some fan art. You know, I think I'm gonna jump right into oh, that. Shit. Mm. Yeah. What the All right? Yeah, we're doing we're we're so we're doing a little legal. the rhythm a little okay is that, yeah. hey yeah what's up chill yeah <laughs> did i did discord crash god damn it <laughs> Stop, man. wait hold on wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> don't it's legal i promise don't kick me off of okay. discord because of it god damn it <laughs> Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I'm allowed! I'm allowed! Yeah, we're gonna start with fan art. <laughs> Tomato told you to chill and then Discord crash. Well, Discord is just a... Just a god-awful platform that we all reluctantly use. Let's just be real, okay? True. Let's just be real. Now I have a parasocial connection <laughs> to Discord, and I'd appreciate it if you watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> you got it, bud. <laughs> did, think did I... Did I ever tell you about how uh, Discord said that they never gave me partnership? And then I showed them a picture of me in the Discord hoodie. There's a Discord partner across the back, and they were like, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <real player." laughs> Wait a minute, what? Yeah, dude, they lost the record of me being partner. And I was like, here's a picture of me at the Discord party, wearing a Discord partner hoodie. <laughs> they, they, dude, they that's, like, like, that's having some extreme receipts right there. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Here's me at Discord HQ, hanging out with Discord CEO. <laughs> me behind you. With my Discord partner manager. He's got his arms around me. See how it says Discord partner manager on his shirt? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, they're uh, they're actually gonna they're getting rid of uh, the Discord partnership now. Yeah, uh. yeah. They they announced they said we're accepting no more uh, partner uh, Discord partners. Uh, if you are a partner, uh, you get to stay a partner, uh, and you no longer have to follow the prerequisites of maintaining a partner. It's just a cool little title you get now. And I'm like, uh, all right, <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say. So uh, yes. I mean, I never applied for partner ever. I got too bored trying to fill out the questionnaires and stuff, like one question in, when they tried to make me explain my community. God. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'd rather die than I'd close it every single time. You should have, you should have said, maybe you should, maybe, maybe you should figure it out. <laughs> you figure it out. Go in there and try it yourself. Stop asking me. Stop asking. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I gave like, like the most bullshit answer for my last partner application. I was like, I, I think I even said like, uh, yeah, you could read uh, any of the other previous applications I've sent and you've rejected. Go ahead and do that. And that was the uh, one that was like, oh yeah, he's partner. And I'm like, what the fuck? So uh, nice. anyways, uh, am I sharing the screen? I am, right? You are now. I want to see a dragon. Poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all better fucking brace yourself because. Uh... All right, that's enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. that dragon's on cooldown for like the next like two yeah. months, so that's epic. Yeah. God uh, damn. Tomato, so damn he paid me twenty dollars. So cool. He bought His the. Arm uh, amazing. He yeah, bought... the arm is so good. He bought the cash shop option to disable the dragon spawn. So nice. Yeah. That's how I get paid. You shouldn't joke about that. That's the amount of money I shovel to Brett <laughs> to keep things going my way. Yeah. <laughs> ah, um, one of my ugh. favorite pieces. You cannot escape your fate. That's really cool. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that Hello. boy kisser. I just want to kick him over a goddamn fence. <laughs> oh, my God. He ain't getting up with a head. Oh, I have kick a him up, cons, drop so him, could. kick him. Oh, you don't Grab know Grab him, throw him down an open manhole. <laughs> Straight to the fucking moon, baby. <laughs> Into hell itself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. We haven't even partied with this guy yet. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of... Damn. Love pixel art. Fantastic. A lot of a lot of Veldrin appreciation. Art. Oh my God! I mean, he he was the hero to the end, man. Mm -hmm. He was sick. He did what he had to do. Look 
God, I got a bad feeling this is going to be a lot of Veldrin. <laughs> this loot is getting heavy. Um, <laughs> so, rules lawyers, I heard you, and I was about to break it to the party that... Uh, Oh no! <laughs> that Michael's uh, encumbrance is halved because it's a tiny creature. Oh no! Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to oh. be. Wait, <laughs> that's yes. not that is bad. It, does me being small reduce one in any way? Uh no, it does not. Oh, but being God. tiny does. Okay, okay. Oh, I hope it doesn't. O- Wait a only minute. half isn't that big of a deal. Like I, we can live with that still. I mean, rules lawyers will correct me if uh, a small. Well, you're also not small. You're medium. Turk's medium. Oh, yeah, you are because I'm a dwarf. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> dwarf. Oh, you're a PHP dwarf. I put, I put dwarves next to the halflings, but you're true. Look, true. They're all, if there's one thing I've learned from this campaign, there's a lot of bullshit in 5e that we got to fix. <laughs> God damn. Every time we do oh, the it. The PHP app. fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we're going through it. It has been such an educational lesson of, like, what works, what doesn't, and how to make things that doesn't work kind of into the direction of working. Um, what do you mean bonfires and PHB? What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Ew. oh. <laughs> Dude looks God. like... God. He looks kind of like fucking King Ramses from Courage a Cowardly Dog asking for his slab back. <laughs> it, gets, it gets creepier, though, because it's sweet, but then it's like, that's the face that's oh, looking at me. this picture right Oh. Now. <laughs> oh. That's so good. Oh. My, my real family... You'll be my family one day. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, that's really clever. That the, is a, good. the D and the V for Veldrin and D is so clever. Mm-hmm. And then GG. Oh, that's and, so and, good. Yeah. GG's everyone. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. That's really good. Dang. <laughs> A little bush in the background is cute. <laughs> oh, damn. Twink. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Damn. Love the scales. Re- res- respectably. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? I'm glad we took the week off. This has been a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, is, this has been a, this has been a tough time, gamers. <laughs> yeah, a lot of suffering going on. Tommy's family uh cooking spell book. That was another thing. <laughs> Muffin. Muffin. That was another thing people gave me a hard time about. They're like, Yeah? Yeah, he found the Red Thay's motherfucking spell book and doesn't have Ray's Dead with all the zombies he's got. I'm like, this is first of all. Red Thay never had a spell book. I added that in. Second of all, uh, no, <laughs> apparently he didn't have it. Uh, raised dead. That's uh, you take that complaint to Watsy. That's uh, <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> the Emperor. Oh my God. I love cool. tarot cards. So fucking cool. Yeah. Emperor's uh, an amazing card. One of the coolest things about um, this uh, fan art section uh, was we got a lot of new fan artists that I felt were just motivated and inspired about what happened with that scene. I'm sorry, Gabriel. It's so good. <laughs> uh, sit. The, I had, they, yeah. I had someone come into my chat the other day, talking of like new people, and they went, "Oh my god, you are the gnome." And I don't <laughs> know if they're referring to me. <laughs> As my dwarf Turg or tip out my halfling from Baldur's Gate, and I had no idea they didn't see anything else. Oh my god! Don't make me tap this one. <laughs> Going to YouTube. Yeah, I've uh, I've I've decided I've once again sworn off YouTube comment section. Every time we have a player death, people are Dude. like, "This is really unfair," and I'm like, "This is a hardcore I'm angry game." On their behalf. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Me in the background rolling up my new character. People in the YouTube comment sections. Kill that raccoon right now! <laughs> someone, oh man, I got a 19 charisma. I'm about to pop the fuck off. Uh, someone said that Tomato was the one that changed the level rules for new characters. <laughs> it's that Tomato was going to quit. Unless True! I, <laughs> I was like, yeah? Is that is that what you saw? Okay, alright. I mean, he was absolutely going to do it. Don't don't let that. Don't Remember, let that. the best thing you can ever do ever is complain all the time until things get better. Yes, that's, that's right. right. 
and keep uh keep building up that algorithm for me i appreciate it love you guys <laughs> hey. thank you for all the interaction <laughs> this guy's got a lot of jobs damn that's sick <laughs> Yo. oh he's Don't like a, a hedgehog <laughs> looks like a haystack he's the boss from demon souls oh true oh yeah oh my god Jeez. holy shit <laughs> That is very cool. I also think it's pretty fitting that your next character has, like, dragon blood and is hunting the dragon. That's it's a silver cool. dragon, uh, even, as well. So it's, it's yeah. like, it's the good oh. cold dragon. Oh, my God. Look at that badass old man. He's on fire. Oh. oh. <laughs> Turg, my beloved. Oh. Aw. Is he in a box? <laughs> Oh wait, 40, it's frozen. It's an ice cube. frozen. Yeah. 48 so cold good. damage. I plop that right into my drink. All right, get your uh get your He's gummy on the inside. Get your tissue. <laughs> no. Get, get your tissues out everyone. Oh. Oh. Fuck. oh. Bro. Bro. The oh, that be that's not the sad part. It's going to be so funny when Tom... Uh, oh, uh, my God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. 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 <laughs> Uh God. Good moments. Good moments all around. Bro. Oh. That's Yo. my favorite. Oh my That's my favorite God. Piece. What the hell? Yeah. Damn. That is unreal amount of detail. Cool. It's insane. I got tagged on Twitter. It's uh oh it's such mm -hmm. a good fucking piece. Good stuff. <sighs> also got tagged to Twitter. Another great ah, piece. Yes. What, the, what the dragon sees. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. There he goes. There goes my hero. Oh my god. Damn. And then we took there the and then we took the week off, and you know that's just when the shit posting began. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. I that's saved true. that picture, that one in particular, and said that was my phone. Fucking background. hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo! Oh my god! Damn! People loving, uh, people loving Gabriel right now. People were drawing fan art of Gabriel before he was a character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Seed is the main proponent of that. Yo. Oh my god. He's ready. I don't know what was going on in uh. that guy's brain before he got dementia. <laughs> <laughs> I will not die until I've assisted you and slain that dragon. And I will immediately die afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, that, ain't a, that ain't a bluff. Yeah, that ain't a bluff. <laughs> uh... What the fuck? So this is apparently what the dragon saw of you guys. <laughs> nice. Imposter vision activated. <laughs> Gabriel wasn't even there. No, this is really... <laughs> got his full gay cake. <laughs> I'm glad uh, someone said it. Gabriel is a slice say, of gay cake. <laughs> you have <laughs> killed cake. both of my characters by eating them in some way. Yeah, so, that's true. I really have to reflect on that and figure out why. <laughs> Princess? <laughs> oh, ate me. Cryovan? Uh, ate me. Well, that's usually what monsters do. They they just eat. They eat people, right? They're hungry, usually. Listen, I'm just saying. I know, I know, and I gotta, I just, <laughs> something Could I'm have been a goblin era. <laughs> something I gotta think about. Look oh, at this guy. Shit. Yo! That's Damn! Sick. It's look, so good. Look at I that love every arm. interpretation yeah. of his prosthetic arm. Mm -hmm. I know, it's so cool. The, like, dwarven rune arm, sick. Man. Good. Great stuff. Why'd you have to give him a magical sword? Why couldn't you make it a magical pickaxe? I love I this. <laughs> Suit old man. <laughs> you seen the <this> shit chat? <laughs> oh, I'm just a I little. gave you like a little buck teeth. I'm just oh, a little guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. 
There it is. Someone finally figured it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Professor Sylvester. Oh, my God. Ah, yes. Video time. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Looks like it belongs on like like 1999 news ground. <laughs> to be Re fair, probably the most horrifying thing last half could have seen. Damn! Uh, Yo! Oh, fucking god. get it, dude! Why does, he have, kicks. why does he have kicks? Yeah. What the hell? God. Oh my god. Terrifying oh, to give Tommy no lips. Up with Sylvester's neck. <laughs> <laughs> no snake neck. The souls of the innocent. Two bagels. A bagel. No. Two bagels. Oh. Oh my, my God. Uh oh. Moments before disaster. There it goes. <laughs> Holy shit. That's good. Get ready. Get ready for the violence, everyone. Ooh, frightful presence. POV. Oh my oh. god. Oh. oh. But now you guys got this guy. Damn, oh, is that a freaking flute? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, is that a clarinet? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, like... nah, I'm good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this fucking the monk? Is, Never mind. It looks like this, no, this might I know be what a you're Zoomer meme. About. Uh, no, no. Yeah. no okay. I know what you mean. God Whoa. damn. Sorry, it's not like skivity toilet. <laughs> no, yeah, that, yeah. I, that I get. Go back to your memes, Chad. That cryo vein looks sick as hell. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Wait. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Where'd you get those bodies from? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What's up? All right. Enough of this. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes. I know this wasn't intentional, probably, but uh, his forehead kind of looks like there's a word written there. Can you, like, zoom in? Yeah, sure. It looks like onion to me. Cullen. Cullen? <laughs> huh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, what do you, what do you see? You see what it, you, though, what, right? What do you see, Jeannie? Yeah, what do you see, I think it, it's, uh When it's zoomed out, it says grow. Whoa. <laughs> I don't see I it. I love this, like, Rorschach sort of like look that we got going on because mm -hmm. i see a skull i just see yeah i just see well yeah I, there's face. yeah 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 yeah. but yeah but we see beyond death mm. <laughs> we see we see grow oh my god i can't read <laughs> i guess i can't read either all right mm. i was looking forward to this all right, wild session today, everyone. It's been a pleasure. It's been a. Yeah, I can't we wait do... for Tommy to finally turn into pink mess. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, just shards you're... of bone. Because you're doing things backward now, Brett. You're gonna yes. have to do the bingo now. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the gonna... bingo now. We'll see what we'll. we'll, we'll, gonna, we'll that's gonna, gonna make everyone everything. so fucking mad. <laughs> 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 we just purposely do everything on it, guys. None of this happened. <laughs> just leave the. Just leave it blank. Okay. Ugh, gotta stretch for this one. I think our next player death is gonna be for environmental hazard. Is that what you're? Is that Rocks what you're on? Everyone yeah, dies. I've decided it's environmental hazard. So I, I think, think that's what's gonna kill the next person. Gonna be a big snake. Big okay. old a, snake. A big snake. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's I'm get gonna, the, let's get on the list. Yeah, Joe, what do you think? I'm gonna say an arrow. Okay. Be boring. Go straight for the arrow. Uh, Judy thinks it's a snake. Mm -hmm. uh, what what about you, Crowned? Bugbear. Bugbear. Yeah, this uh this campaign really loves its bugbears. That is for <laughs> that's for certain. What if it's a cave of bugbears? I'm like, yeah, 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 we did that three times already. Come on. <laughs> yeah, one more time though. Yeah, but what if there's like four bugbears now? Holy oh, shit. It's one of the classics. Come on. <laughs> Come like a bugbear cleave the, the bugbear. Free run. Ooh. All right. Ooh. I'm nervous. I'm excited because the start Why? of this, because uh, the start Stop of this, these things. the start of this campaign uh, session uh, is going to start with you all in the fucking void. So uh, get out of here. Oh. Wait, what? What? Yep. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> we shall begin the scene. Uh, not like what any of you may have expected. 
Instead, I will give you um, something that you should be feeling at this point. This sort of this 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 darkness, this this void, this this emptiness, this sheer cold that just that that penetrates to your bones, freezes your body, and seizes you up. It almost feels like for a moment that you're you're drowning, unable to breathe. And as you try to gasp for air, you you fear that by doing so, you may actually suffocate. And then a voice breaks through the silence. <clears throat> Veltred. Veltred, can you hear me? Veldrin, you awaken. Uh, eyes suddenly snapping open, this cold embrace having washed over him, uh, finding himself not in the maws of a dragon, but looking at a familiar face. Gideon. Yes, of, of course it's me, Veldred. It's, it's good to see you, my friend. It's good to see you as well, brother. Where? He looks around for a moment, seeing how the land is sort of suffused in this pale pink and white. As you, as you look around, you begin to feel the ground actually pulsating underneath your feet. And as you look at these sort of globules that are pulsating within the area, you'll it actually looks like it's alive. It appears to be almost cyst-like or tumor in nature. And then if you look up into the sky, you sort of see this wild farscape, a cacophony of, of, of colors, of clouds just sort of surging over everything. Um, Veldrin, go ahead and give me a religion check at advantage. All right, let me, I got this minimized. Ooh, baby, I love to see that. All right, hold on. Let me just make sure we're, oh, did it, is it doing it again? Uh, you rolled a 20, by the way. Uh, apolo- apologies to everyone who can't see it right now. Uh, Foundry keeps changing how they display their information, which makes it uh, blank on my side until we get some more numbers up. So I do apologize for that. Um, so you, as you kind of like look around this area and you're standing next to your friend uh, Gideon. Before I give out any more information, um, Gideon, much like Veldrin, you also just woke up. You, the, what happened to you was you sort of just awakened um, in the same scene as well. The ground sort of pulsating. It feels soft and, and squished to the touch, and it kind of has a, a sticky residue as you try to get yourself up. And you look over and you see Veldrin laying there right next to you. You remembered everything, everything what happened, the the mace that collided in with your skull. Veldrin, you remember the maw of Cryovane as it took that final bite and you bid farewell to your, to, 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 to Gabriel. And then you awakened here and as you look around, it would be fair to say that you would probably, like, look at all of this as, like, some sort of afterlife. After all, Favorin has many planes 
where people are are to and from. And as you even look at yourself in your form, you kind of let off as the spiritual glow, yet you're not translucent. If you were to feel yourself, you can feel your body. If you were to, to check your, your, your satchels and inventories, everything that was on you when you passed away is on you now. And as you try to study, as you try to decipher, as you try to figure out where this is, you're unsettled by the theory that this is no plane of the dead at all. Avernus, Hades, anything of that sort. But instead of a plane that you have read from a book from the Lord's Alliance, one where the deceased should not go and yet here you are, you realize right here and now that you are in the far realm, the realm of madness. There's a a moment, this creeping realization that begins to wash over Veldrin's features, his lips pursed together, his brows push, uh, push towards one another, and his hand sort of sweeping back the cloak, now resting along the lane, looking to Gideon. I'm afraid we found ourselves in a fate worse than death. Oh, so? Well, you should be in your god's domain, and I should be in mine, but if my reading was right, we're in a, a realm called the Far Realms, and it's... it's madness incarnate. Regardless of how we manage to find ourselves here, Veltrin, surely there's a way that we can find ourselves free of it, yes? Were I alone, I'd say no. But with you at my side, I believe it. You then realize what exactly you're standing on as you kind of look at the sinew walls. Um, much like uh, many locations within the farm realm of those that have survived its travels, you're standing on uh, what appears to be the sort of biological mass of a giant brain. <laughs> As he says that, uh, and sort of shifts on a heel and sort of hears that sickening squelch. Um, he dig his heel in just a little bit more uh, and eventually pull the lang and uh, drow knife from his belt, just so he sort of has his weapons at the ready. I, um, I don't know what's going to be lying ahead for us, so... Well, the worst it seems that they could do to us is kill us again. Fall. Hopefully, I'll find you again. Same goes to you, shall we? Let's be about it. As you gather your forces up, you'll sort of hear this this resonation echoing through the chambers. As these strange voices seem to be echoing through the halls and then you will see popping out from the brain mass these sort of let me see if there's a way to describe it here I'll put it over there so you can see exactly what that is <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can just go ahead and read this do 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 do, 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 do. There it is. So the creatures you see are this these strange horrors, um, and they have these sort of like tentacly like tendrils that are kind of shifting away as if it's like kites blown into the wind as it kind of moves around, surging forward. Um, 
they appear to be wayward shreds of of energy. It's a writhing ball of tentacles echoing the cacophonous sounds of every thought that is within there. And you're just here listening to like these mad whispers and shouts and screams that that um, that 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 kind of emerge from them uh, as they begin to float their way to you. Their tentacles out, ready to strike. They appear to be hostile. Blades uh, come up. Yeah, Gideon's gonna draw his blade and get ready to fight him. And uh, that is where we will stop this scene of what where Veldrin and Gideon currently are. And once again, I will send you all back into the void as we shall return back to our lovely party. Hi. <laughs> We're going Where on an I? adventure. Hi, <laughs> Miss Veldrin. I should be dead. Oh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a little, we're a little, we're, we're, we're a little funny guy. We're a little funny guy. Doing little silly things. Doing little silly things. All right. Can't believe it's going to be Veldrin and Gideon who take down Cosmotara. <laughs> like this is this is somehow <laughs> an IO crossover. Jeez. Classic. It's just so easy. It's it absolutely <laughs> is. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys will have, uh, finished your, let me double check, finished your long rests, I believe. Your character is complete, is that correct for Gabriel? Correct. Excellent. You sort of gathered around here, beautiful. You've got all your spells. You made sure they were all from the player's handbook. I just picked my last spell, which was, uh, Cloud of Daggers. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. My spell. So I believe my spell list is uh, all good. in order as well as my uh, my sheet. All right. Currently, it is uh, 10 in the morning. You all have had. Did, how, did any of you sleep after what happened the past couple of days now that you've finally arrived back yeah. into the inn? <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, why? Will that give us a point of exhaustion? No, no, that's not. I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to know what's in your character. I'm talking? not trying to hurt you, he says. I don't fucking like it when he says that. I don't fucking believe him. Uh, last time he said that, he summoned a dragon upon us. I said, I, I said what if a dragon came sure. down, and then the dragon came down, and I went, uh-oh, and then the dragon came down. However... <laughs> I would like to let you all know that now that a uh, player has been claimed from Cryovane, uh, Cryovane is going to return back to their lair with all that fat loot and tasty player meat. Mm-mm-mm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. all full. Yummy. So, uh, oh, you got cry- a lot of stuff, by the way. So, Cryovane is going to be on a bit of a cooldown. Uh, let me, for the for the chat at home, let me get this, let me get this chat box work in so we can actually start seeing stuff hey okay cool i'm just having you say a a lot sorry about that sorry gabriel what's wrong with him gabriel wakes up and he dares all right i just miss him so much I'm, I'm going to roll a 1d6 plus 4, and that is how many days Cryovane will be off of the encounter table. Could be up to a full 10 day. Here we go. Yep, that's a, that's a 2. So, uh, 6 days. <laughs> You've got a Cryovane 6 day cooldown. That's alright, we'll be dead before then. <laughs> True. <laughs> we will be quickly dispatched by the nearest hobgoblin or bugbear. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Why do you guys keep talking about death and stuff? You gotta fight to live, you know? I just hope whatever kills me does it clean. <laughs> like, like, like ends you clean? Is that what you're saying? I've got a soft spot in the back of my skull. I hope they aim for that. I hope Mike goes down in the history books, like the Bifidolphin experiment. 
<laughs> it's just that that No, it's an incident. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, hey. So you um, want some eggs? Want some bread? Some soup? Yeah. Hungry? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll go That'd ahead. Great. Listen. This will uh, this will be all on the house. Okay. Uh, because of everything that's that's happened to okay. has happened to your friend. I also went ahead and gave you the uh, the end room for tonight again as well, just so I know you're gonna take some time. Uh, but uh, how do you run this business? But uh, well, I mean, it's hard. It's difficult. We get people coming in and going, and uh, quite does frankly, he... what'd you say? Have we does seen he, many people coming and like going? A... Yeah, yeah, people, 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 people comes in. Yeah, people anyone? comes in there. No one, no one gets free room. No, but he's giving you like one free day essentially, and then. It goes, yeah. Look, but, I was just wondering if we were the only adventurers in town this whole time. Oh, yes, abso- cool. absolutely. You're the only adventurers in town. Everyone that comes here currently will, you know, sleep because of like trade and stuff like that. Like other uh, traders kind of come through here and stay. Yeah. You're like a fucking celebrity here. Language. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, child. What? It's like that, man. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. L- listen, listen. I'm sorry for everything that you've been through. You're able to, to stay one more night. But tomorrow, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to pay for the rooms again. Your friend. Your friend covered them for the 10 day. And now that 10 day's wrapped up. And the bill's coming home. Oh, the bill's coming home. Oh. Just, is he tearing up while talking about a yes. bill being due? Yes. Yes. Tearing up. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> we all gotta pay the bill eventually. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's where the door uh gets kicked down uh, by Sildar, who runs in, and he's looking around. He looks at the group. He sees no Veldrin. And then he just sort of slumps his arms and says, Damn. So it's true then. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I, I'm so sorry. He was, he was one of the, one of the best of the Lord's Alliance. And he had nothing but praise for for each and every one of you. I'm... uh, He will be sorely missed. Is there anything that I can do during these trying times? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Am I going to kill a dragon? Eh. If it comes to it, yes. Okay. Well, are you... Are you going after that thing? Yep. That's the plan. Yeah. Mm. Gotta do something. Swore vengeance. He'll nod. You know, it's been quite a while since I've trained, since my injury over in the... at the Kragmar Caves, but... If there's a chance to, to kill this, the son of a bitch that slayed Beldrin, then my friends, you have my sword. When you're ready to, to find this beast, you let me know, and I will journey with you to slay this dragon once and for all. Uh, Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that? Exactly. <laughs> I'm a dying man. I'm the daughter. Someone else going to get me up on the bell. I'm the castle. Yes, of course. The the Kragmar Castle still. We still need to right. find it. And we still we need, need to gear up. <sighs> if you are going to. If you do end up finding Kragmar Castle, uh, see if you can keep an eye on my soul for my sword. 
I never was able to... I was hoping that it was within the weapon boxes that we retrieved from the Kragmaw hideout. Uh, alas, my blade was not there. I hide my sword. <laughs> <laughs> if you find one, it will be... Um, It'll be uh, decorated within a, a red and golden leather hilt. Oh. What does mine look like? Not that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I raise it back out and find. <laughs> it is a blade that has been with me for for over a decade now. It's a... Are you giving us a quest? I suppose I am. Do you think you can retrieve my sword, Tommy? Yeah, I think I can do it. He pauses for a moment. And then kind of continues. You know, Tommy, I was to speak of with Veldren of his thoughts of, of, of you, your capabilities and what you are. Veldren had thoughts about me. Able to do. Well... I was going to ask you, Tommy, would you be interested in joining the Lord's Alliance? Uh, I'm afraid of commitment. You're the bravest. I'm sorry, what? I'm afraid of commitment. I, that's okay, I suppose. Um, Does it come with any benefits? <laughs> Do, <laughs> de- <laughs> Does it come with dental? It's really hard to get dental. Oh, you, you you will have the expenses of Neverwinter at your back. If teeth is what you need, the finest dentists will take care of your mouth. Well, I, I guess I could think about it. I never... Hmm. Think about it. This is not a choice to make lately. But if you are interested in the in doing the, the greater good and protecting the Sword Coast then the Lord's Alliance would be happy to have you as one of its members. Hmm. All right. If I see you again, uh, I might have an answer. When you see me again. Don't die out oh, there, Tommy. Uh, right. When? That goes for the rest of you, the lot of you. You have been through far more tragedy than I know of anyone. But if you are still willing to to march on. Unlike that bard. What was his name? I never met him. I, I, underst- <laughs> I understand he retired recently and I... Barry. Barry. Yes, that's right. His name was Brian. Hmm, I'm sorry. Oh, Gabriel. How are you Hello, holding sir. up? <clears throat> Brian. I'm well enough. He looks at more time, I'll be fine. He looks at everyone before he says Are you leaving with them today? I'll go where they go. If they'll have me. Yep. Yeah. You're in board balls, you're part of the party. Oh. Part of the party. I understand then. Where are you heading off to now? On the location of Glamour Castle, so I think we'll call you go up north and try and get it from now. I see. You believe you, you'll you find someone that can give you that information? I have a lead. We have a lead. Very well, then. Um, He looks over to his satchel as he opens up a bag and he says, Here, here, uh, take this. And he will hand Tommy. One potion of healing. Mm. It's nice. It's not much, but it's the least that I can do for for you and your journey. Thank you, Silda. Mm. Well then, I wish you all the safe travels on the road. Be wary out there, okay? Thank you. Sir. Yeah. And he'll return back to the the townmaster hall. There he goes, eternally shrimping away. <laughs> <laughs> he always looks so sad. 
You know, I was actually <laughs> feeling pretty good today. What's that? Yeah, he's, Delton's he's dead. So out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This has been a shitty ten day, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what are? Uh, let, let me check the calendar real quick. Uh, uh, so uh, tomorrow, Adabra will have a potion of healing ready for sale. Just so you all are aware. Okay. A potion of healing will be increased upon her stocks. It'll be we a couple. Have- Six days before Cryovane kills us. Yeah, we leave have today. To <laughs> We're out of here. We gotta we go. Have to That's move. True. You're not wrong. Uh, You're the not quest, wrong. So the quest oh, board has like uh, potions of healing. <laughs> yeah, the quest board has a cool quest for uh, Dwarven Ruins. It's a level one quest. If you guys would like to check that out, should be a day out. No, level okay. one. <laughs> I want to buy health. I want to buy rations, please. Okay, how many rations would you like to purchase? Uh, how much are there? Uh, that's a great question. Let me go yeah, ahead. Go open up Barthas. Yeah, okay. Hello. I'd like to purchase <laughs> two rations as well, please. Where, where the fuck? Oh, show? No, no, make me ration worried. Get okay. me back up to my ten. Yeah, I'll take two. Top off. Okay, cool. You so this will be. Do we need the Marius? We can't afford room. it. Oh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, we have the room. I we have like hundred in there, don't we? Yeah, oh, you, yeah, you got right. you got plenty in the room. Yeah. Uh, do we? All right, I'll dip into yeah, the got, room stocks. Oh. Yeah, I'll take room stock. Get some of them. Okay. We've got, uh, how many have we got in the storage? Uh, give me one quick second. I just want to make sure I have everyone's uh, rations squared away from your travels from the the orc cave. Okay. okay so we got dead folks' rations, right? <laughs> yeah. Gathering them up. Yeah, yeah, you got dead folks rations, you psycho. <laughs> Not Veldrins, though. <laughs> the amount of just corpses that have brought rations into this party as time's gone on, it's great. We don't have to pay a fucking cent for this. See, it's shit. an infinite food loop. Yeah. Uh, so currently, you have 60 rations uh, within, within the room. It's like hacking. It's <laughs> a good amount. Uh, I would like to take seven. Uh, seven you shall take, then. Two, please. That puts you uh, to 12 rations, Gabriel. Very good. Okay. I need four to get yeah, back I to ten. Also need four. Oh, let me check out. Oh, yeah, no, I need, yeah, I need four as well. <laughs> this guy doesn't even know how many DM. he needs. Help. <laughs> ten, ten, and ten. All right. Uh, so 4, 8, 12 is over there. 53 minus 12. You have 41 rations remaining. Oh, uh, could I... Did we do this last time? Did I pop over and get the boots? Oh, I did. I did. Yes, you okay, did. Nice. We did do that. Um, would you have shared of uh, Veldrin's demise over to Darren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they can understand me, I'd be like... Oh, hang on. I don't know Now you came down. Father! <laughs> His hair is muffling his voice. You gotta, you gotta get your hair out of your mouth. It's, it's muffling. <laughs> oh, I like. How many torches are in there? How many torches are in there? Uh, yeah, torches. None. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. I this think I might have taken screwed. the. No, 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 no. I think I might have taken the light cantrip. I did. Never mind. Wait, Don't worry. What if we just attach one to the side of his head and light it? You know, like a torch you put behind your I head. I have light. What if we <laughs> just like, kind of put a this. candle on the top of his head like a kobold? Just Good kinda... plan. You're all sick. <laughs> I'm not an object, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, anyone need to go to the provision store or Never. the armory? I'm a caster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, any full inventories that need to be lightened? Uh, is there? How much does Michael have on him? He needs to sell that shit. Yeah, Michael. Oh Mike, yeah, Michael. Does Michael have any uh, context <laughs> to the idea of commerce and uh, <laughs> barter? Yeah, give me oh. give me one second. Yeah. Actually, uh, that's a good point. Maybe I'll put all the gems I have inside our room. Yeah, I just remembered I have a few things I need to sell. Excellent. Give me one moment. There are a lot of maps now. Uh-oh. Haha, uh-huh, uh-oh. God, I'm so glad that Michael's basically just like a little butler to like help me. <laughs> <laughs> just a little guy, little butler. 
There's literally nothing he can do about it because a spell compels him to follow me. Very good, <laughs> sir. <laughs> now I understand why Imps are at the lowest of the pecking order. <laughs> Uh, shall I hold your bag, sir? Very good, uh, sir. Oh, if you need me to carry anything, by the way, I I now have like a hundred plus more pounds of carry weight because of these boots. Right. They are made that for is walking. Really good. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> make the laugh. Uh, <laughs> make the funny. Uh, okay, so three hide armor would award you uh, with thirty gold pieces. So let me increase that in Sylvester's load. Uh, the larger hide armor will give you 15 gold pieces again added to Sylvester and then the two shields are 20 gold pieces so Sylvester you're currently sitting at 250 gold pieces um yeah I guess for now it's fine for Sylvester to hold on to it just because uh we're all aside from Turg pretty uh pretty low on carry weight availability Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got about 90 pounds, or sorry, 40 pounds on me that I can carry. You have yeah, got, you have very lot. little funds because you're technically a new character, so I think I'd... I think it's best to just give that money to uh, Gabriel, actually. How much money would you like to give to Gabriel? Uh, let's give Gabriel, like, 80 gold. All right, 80, 80 gold pieces, just like that. That's very kind of you, thank you. I am... Um... I'm... I put all my gems away inside the party storage, too. Oh, okay, you're, say, you like, already you deleted them and all that from... Yep. Cool. Yep. Uh, oh, I see. I'm going to, like, sew them into... Uh, actually, I don't really have a sewing kit. I'm going to try and hide them in something, uh, like a bedroll or something. Hide okay. Them away. Yeah, we could do that. If you want to make, a like, a stealth check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I uh, help him? Because I, I have proficiency in stealth. Floorboards. Yeah, like a sh uh, shift click. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth at advantage, Turk. Okay, you got it. There it is, 11. It's pretty cool. All right. So you currently have, I believe, two rooms. One that you guys are sleeping in, one that's storage. Which means, uh, currently, the rate um, for two rooms is going to be one gold piece a night. So who would like to pay to keep to maintain your storage and have a room I'm available? I'm going to give five gold. Okay, that'll be, that'll be for five days, five then. Days. Yeah. Would anyone else like to contribute? Oh, actually, how long do you reckon is the, the road up here is going to be longer? I'll give ten. I'll give ten gold. Okay, ten. I was about to say, I'll throw ten on that as well. All right, so tw so we're doing a, a, a two a two ten I day. I, too, will throw in another ten. Oh, that's thirty days. To be fair, look, we're going to meta know that the next campaign is Fandelver and Below. We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so 10, 20... Do we get a discount if we purchase more days in advance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, um, uh, no. I'll still be performing if you allow me when I come back from time to time. Yep, you're, you're welcome to perform, sure, but uh, uh, I don't know where my voice is right now. Yeah, no, no I'm not doing that. <laughs> he got... He got uh, kerfuffled. Oh shit, did not want to set that date. Oh, uh, what I meant to set, set this date. And then I'm adding. The sun's set. just whipping around the planet above us. <laughs> <laughs> and our gods right. just pulls it back. Oh, you guys are paid through all the way to the beginning of fall. That's going to be nice. When the leaves turn orange and all that. True. All right. So, uh, Marpinoth, uh, the fifth for a 1491 is what you're paid through. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Marpinoth? Uh, yeah. Uh, th 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 the month currently is, uh, a, a lint. A lint. You got a month named Marpinoth? Elint. <laughs> yeah, Elint is. Holy shit. And then we've got. If I was Mul born in Marpinoth, I wouldn't tell anyone. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so, so it's uh, you're go you're currently going through the summer month, which is a lit uh, a lint, which is thirty days, and then there's one day which I have no idea what this means. It's a uh, uh, high harvest tide, and it's just one day. It's a one day month, and then you go into Marpinoth, which is oh, the might fall be month. The equinox, maybe. Oh yeah, the moon is uh the the moon is full. It's a full moon. 
Uh, yeah, today? it's probably the fall. Uh, yeah, fall equinox. Oh yeah, actually, all of these these one day months are when the moon is full, and that's what you celebrate. So yeah, you go through like, yeah, it's always like a an entire moon's weird. Moon's very weird. Oh yeah. Yeah, awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah. So you're paid through for the to th- the month till next month. Great, great, great. <laughs> very kind of you. Thank you so much. Is he about to cry again? No, no, no. I'm, I've got it. I'm gonna hold it. You didn't say that. I know you didn't say that, but he just you guys are looking at him. And he's like, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna be okay. He's pathetic. But I'm gonna miss you guys. Gabriel, I'm gonna miss you. You better come back and perform, okay? When I'm able to, I will. I promise. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to clean the dishes. I'm a mess. He goes in yeah. the back. <laughs> he is a mess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He makes me sick. Michael begrudgingly flies over to you. Have you completed the transactions? He hands you 30 gold pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, I spaced out. Uh, am I, I? I have three morning stars and uh, hide armor I need to sell. Okay. Let me, uh, I'll open the shop up for you. Woohoo. Because this is just easier. Woohoo. All right. Sell that shit. Yeah. Wait, do we want to buy cow tropes and shit? Those did yeah. help us a lot. They were pretty big. Weren't they out of stock? I thought they were like out of stock or something last time we tried to buy them. You might be right. I don't see them on this list, but I think that's just Because we were like, collection. we should buy a million cow tropes, and then something stopped us from doing that. It's true. That's just true. Okay, I'm done with the shop. Okay. Uh, real quick, I need to lower Sylvester's money down to 105. 15. My finances! Uh, down to, uh, 98. I gave you, I gave you full, full price. 98, and then... Does he have a retirement fund? An 88, there we go. He has a 401k. So yeah, Sylvester's now at 88 gold pieces and 50 silver. I gave you full market value instead of half market value for those items. Sorry. All right. This is coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael size. Okay. Uh, anything else you guys like to do while you are in Fandolin? Oh, I have one thing that I can. Can I quickly swap my four Electrum for two gold, please? Is that sure. something I can just? Yeah, absolutely. Really quickly, just get out of my bank account. <laughs> get the get this shit Wait out of here. Wait a minute. I have Good. 19 Electrum. Ew. Yeah, we gave you all of that last time. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, gonna give Tommy, I'm gonna give Tommy for Electrum. Yeah, a, a shiny, uh, funny money. The worst part is that you have it in an odd number, which means you'll never get rid of it. Are you exchanging the Electrum for uh, gold? Uh, yeah, sure. And then, but also, I could like play like boy math, and that's just like free money that I can spend on anything. The f- what the fuck does that mean? You don't know what that is. You know? No. Okay, never mind. No. Boy math, like yeah, go down. Yeah. The hell is this kid talking about? <laughs> it's just like it's just like made up shit. <laughs> Don't worry. At some point, I want Brett to have an Electrum only shop. <laughs> We're just gonna be staring. I was I was telling Crown I want to make Electrum um, uh, cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Can I get my Electrum back preemptively for this? Can I take it back? And then, and then, gonna... and then it just constantly just goes up and down randomly, and it just. Now, you want to know what the problem is with that? Yeah, it's gonna become such a big deal in like I- I'm gonna be talking about it every single time. I'm gonna be asking you what Electrum's at. Yeah, and it's gonna be yeah. such a distracting <laughs> part. Of you the have show. to wait until you're in fan. Fandling to get the latest Electrum values. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, would anyone like to exchange the silver that's in their pocket for gold? What's the conversion rate on silver? 10 to 1. Uh, yeah, I'll swap all mine to gold, please. All right. Yeah, Ten. I'll swap all my silver At and my Electrum to gold. Yeah, sure. Everything's back to normal as it should be. Okay. And then for Tommy, down to 7. 13, 179 plus 13, 192. There we go. 
Very good. Your pockets feel lightened. Uh, what else would you guys like to do? Or would you like to head out to the map? I think we're ready to head out. At least I am. Yeah. 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 It's time to go. All right, then. We must it, find the castle. It is time. Above board, we're going to Thunder Tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're going to get the information, right? That's in the north. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Now, louding. Thunder, thunder, thunder. As well, just so you guys are aware of my kit, uh, I have Minor Illusion, Presti, Mage Hand, Ray of Frost, Firebolt, Chill Touch, Fog Cloud, Color Spray, Magic Missile, Scorching Ray, Cloud of Daggers. Noise. Okay. Damn, if I had known prior that you had Cloud of Daggers, I would have swapped from Eldritch Spear to a uh, Repelling Blast. Well, I initially had Chromatic Orb, but uh, I couldn't find a diamond worth 50 gold. Yes, uh, there is no diamond worth 50 gold in this town. So I ended up changing it uh, just last minute. Or, no, I'm sorry, you, you just did, you couldn't afford it. Like the... Well, yes, you, I was poor. Yeah, you were broke. <laughs> And even after you worked, you worked for lo lodgings and had a couple of coins left over, but not enough for a diamond. All right. I activate. Okay. So here we are, baby. You'll be traveling over to Thunder Tree, which is right. Uh, which is going to be right over here. So... How far of a trip is Thunder Tree from Neverwinter? Exactly five days. <laughs> so it's two days to get to Neverwinter. And then as you're crossing off the road, give me one second. Because it'd probably uh, easy it'd probably be safer to follow the road. Yes. Yeah. Uh it and would if we were there we'd be able to try to pick up caltrops and stuff that were like not able like things are not able to get in Vandalin. Smart. That's true. Um, so it'll be two days travel on road to Neverwinter through up the high road. Uh, and then uh, traveling pace, is that 16 mi miles or is it 30, 30 miles? I always forget traveling pace. It's been a week. I'll look God. it up. I do not remember. Let's see. Tra uh, let's see. Oop. Traveling pace. Uh, traveling pace uh, is... What the fuck? 24? Oh, normal is three miles per hour. Oh yeah, per day is 24. Yeah, 24. So yeah, you would you would arrive in less than a, a day from Never at Thunder Tree from Neverwinter. And then the road. Like swinging by Neverwinter is a good idea then. If we're like, trying to get like specific things still, like the Caltrops seemed really strong mm -hmm. and would be super potent in like an indoor battle. All right. Um, so if you'd like, I can fast travel you to Neverwinter now. I'll go ahead and make my rolls. Uh, it'll be two days travel to arrive over to Neverwinter. Unless there are camping activities you guys would like to do or role play opportunities um, since you have a new party member. What would you like to do? I'm down to fast travel. Uh, yeah, I'm down to fast travel. Night would okay. be yeah. Gabriel playing songs. Awesome. Allow me to make a, cu a couple of rolls then. And we'll see what the, uh... We will allow it. And here comes the giant fish! <laughs> Woo! Okay, let me see. Alright, so if you go in there... Okay. Here we fucking go, I heard the dice roll. Can't mm -hmm. squire. I just have to check one... One thing. I always forget what the role is for encounters. Always gotta check something. Mm -hmm. Clark points at <laughs> Tommy. Good. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Buh, buh, buh. Going up, bump. Okay, cool. So, 
So it's actually going to be right over here. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Can't right be that easy, time. can it? <laughs> Still on that old <laughs> Tribor Trail, baby. Oh. <laughs> we made it 15 feet. <laughs> I can still see Madeline. 15 ghouls. <laughs> what the oh, fuck shit. is Shildar oh. doing? All right, this dude should be taking care of this shit for us. <laughs> Don't go up in them there hills. <laughs> the neighborhood's just gone to hell. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. If you want to venture more than 12 yards from town, you'll get jumped by bears. <laughs> All right. I need to pull out a different table. Boop, boop, boop. It's, it's this one. Actually, I think I built a table specifically for what you encounter. Let me see. Cryo Vane's even more agitated dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's Cryovane, the CR12 block. He has gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> For a uh, legendary action. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Yep, I got a wilderness encounter table. All right, let's do it. Roll time. Has Tommy done his daily rolls yet? No. no. All right. 1d4 plus two goblins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Or, ho sorry, hobgoblins, not goblins. Hobgoblins. Oh. 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 Come on. Come on, Look, dude. Guys, that's, that's all right. Just, all we have to do is take one alive. Oh, my God. If we take one alive, we can ask them where the castle is. Cut out the middleman. Five more, oh, more like the goblins. Okay. Uh, would it's you like to give... that complicated. Yeah, let me see. 13 and 8. Okay. Here we go. Let's get, you, let's get you over to the map. I'll let you guys figure out what, uh, da, da, da. okay, so I'm going to view this to make sure all the tokens are cleared. Yes. Yes. Very good. Um, okay. So where would you guys be? I'm assuming you guys are off the road again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's our go to. Yes. Cool. Then I'm going to drop a little campfire right here. I'm gonna get that little nighttime ambiance going. If this was a like campfire, we got jumped while we were camping scenario, then um, Michael would be invisible. Of course, would have been keeping watch. To be clear, of course. Okay, so what I need from everyone once we get to the map. Okay. Oddly familiar field. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> like just around here is where a dragon showed up just a little while ago. Yeah, you, you, you guys don't remember this field when the bugbear attacked you, but sure as hell remember this field when the dragon attacked you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I, I need perception checks from everybody. Okay. Twenty. Ooh. Bro. The voice of Esther, good boy. And, and then let me let me get Michael out. Uh just uh so you can see Michael. Michael's invisible, just so you're okay. aware. Do, do you, hmm? what if my passive perception is like fifteen? I don't really know what the rulings are on passive. Um you know. Uh so if you're actively looking, we'll roll perception. Um okay. or if you're okay, not, okay. and you're just being a, I a just, little, like one time little stinker. Like another DM that did it different, so it sort of confuses me now. No, no, it's all good. Uh, you, you, you can take your passive perception, is what I'm, what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, fifteen. Okay, cool. I will allow that. Oh, 12. You can roll, and we'll we'll take the passive perception. Because yeah, there's nothing stressful happening here. Okay, so I just gonna make a couple of rolls. Let's do it. Show this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. Um, so you guys are going to hear the sounds of uh, sticks breaking as there is movement around you. Uh, and there, uh, you can immediately tell that there was a hobgoblin party that was trying to sneak up on each and every one of you, but you 
Uh, being fully aware that the roads are incredibly dangerous, um, as you guys were getting ready to, to settle down, uh, you, yeah, you saw all of this, and we're ready to go. So, I'm gonna roll initiative for you all now. Yahoo! Woohoo! Oh! <laughs> Wah! Oof! There's two Michaels! <laughs> Is, wait, what? I don't know why. <laughs> Michael! <cool. laughs> Where'd the surprise arise. underneath Sylvester? Arise, my army. Arise. <laughs> it's like, where the fuck this one what come from? Rascal? Where'd you come from? <laughs> what the fuck? Back they to the hell. become more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us let us begin then. That's the one. Hmm. Okay. I shall begin the round four. Wait, what the? That's not right. <laughs> we spend a lot Everything of time looking wrong. at each other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back up. Uh, Michael goes first. Michael, what do you want to do, bud? Wait, Michael goes first. Michael goes first. <laughs> he's about that. He's, look, he's looking at Sylvester. He's giving a little shrug. Wait, what? Yeah, the... I have completely wait, different. Michael, you need to wait your goddamn on? turn, Michael. <laughs> Gabriel goes first. Sorry, I didn't scroll farther. <laughs> it's Michael. all right. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, sort of seeing that uh, we're already popping off and we're already uh, we're about to be jumped. Uh, we're gonna start out strong. I'm gonna immediately spend two sorcery points because uh, I'm going to quicken spell. Uh, I'm going to quicken spell a scorching ray. Okay. Uh, and we're going to fire off the three darts, uh, and they are going to go. go you ahead. can roll one at a time and determine which one which one they hit, if you'd like. Oh, perfect. First one's going to be against this lad. Mm hmm. Ooh. Ooh. So second strong. one's going to be against that lad. <laughs> yep. Hey. That's uh that's just that's that, a funny. That's, that's a, a weird uh <laughs> format. That just says twenty six. <laughs> that's huh. That's no weird. it doesn't what it's so you don't end your... the spell spot. <laughs> yeah. When you make multiple attack rolls, it gives you a little tab that you can press just the attack or the damage. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't um, roll your damage. Correct, because I set it to do attacks first instead of auto roll my damage. Oh, okay. But that's a natural twenty. Yeah. So Oh, how, how the fuck are you doing this fancy shit? I haven't seen With this before. Heat, baby. <laughs> oh my god, that's like, yeah, you're, you're like hacking the system. Uh, so, oh, it is 20 damage. Yeah, this guy just immediately, how do you just bash with that hobgoblin? <laughs> the first one sort of scatters against his armor, and as he he draws his palm what? up, and he pulls <laughs> the ray from his chest and <sighs> lets it loose, and this one pierces through his head and explodes out the back. What the, <laughs> what the there's, fuck? There's an immediate flourish and once again he draws his hand across his chest and lets out the last bolt against this one. Okay. He should try to take one of them alive. That hits. Four, seven points of damage. I understand. And then as my main action, Ray of Frost. Oh, there you go. You're doing it right. Uh, by the way, that uh, hobgoblin is bloody. His movement speed is also reduced by 10 feet. One point of damage. Very good. I am then going to move. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go. All right. Uh, this one's gonna just <laughs> so seeing what they're up against. Stealth is done. Holds on to both both the swords and just charges in, getting all the way up to here, holding his sword up. He's about to go for the old man. Uh, this one will also do the same, uh, except this one will go up here, stop short. And then immediately fire. Um, I'm gonna go one D two. One's gonna be Sylvester. Two is going to be Turg. I'm gonna make that a public B2, B2, B2. roll. B two, B two. Turg, the arrows yeah. fly. Uh, does a thirteen hit? 
I don't even that. know why I said that. All right. Um. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Tommy. Uh, let's see. This one hasn't acted yet, right? Oh, uh, which one? This one? No, has not acted yet. All right. Uh, Tommy's gonna say, "You lot will kill each other before you even get to us." He's gonna cast a uh, crown of madness on that one. Oh my god! Holy! <laughs> 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 uh, he's gonna also automatically roll an eight on the wisdom save. Oh, oh yo! <laughs> I'm getting owned all over the place. God damn! All right, so that eight roll is an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and cast crown of madness. Oh, you're right. Okay, so that's a fail. Uh, he's charmed. While charmed this way, a twisted crown of jagged iron appears on the head. Madness closed the eyes. The charmed target uh, must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself than you mentally choose. Okay, so it has to attack first, correct? Um, yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, cool. shit. Okay. It turns out I don't understand Crown of Madness, but it's... Crown of it's Madness cool. is like one of the weirdest spells in fire. No, no, no. It's it's all good. I thought uh, there was just like a few specific words I like skimmed over. No, it's all good. It's still good. Mm -hmm. uh, the target can normally act on this turn if you choose no creature or if you... Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah, nah. Oh, well. I thought they could also do like melee or whatever. I mean, ranged. Okay. It, uh, it does have the Crown of Madness, though. Let mm -hmm. me go ahead and add that real quick. Round of Madness, which I... Oh, wait, no, I'll just say Charmed. I don't have to make it so hard. Okay. Uh, Tommy, what else would you like to do? Uh, that's it. All right, Michael. I'm going to have Michael uh, move, uh, fly to this guy while invisible. Mm-hmm. Post up behind him. Okay. All right, so this one is going to also run. Uh, and we are going to take a pot shot at Sylvester. 14 to hit? Uh, it does not. All right. Turd. Yep, I'm going to... Oh, this is out of range. Uh, I'm going to move for this guy. Also remember, and... your movement speed's now 30. Yeah. And I'm just gonna block out Sylvester and go in for this strike. Uh, we're level four, aren't we? Yeah. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a little stab on this guy. Miss. I missed my stab on this guy. I'm gonna and I'm gonna use a. No, I'm gonna just end the turn there. Uh, okay. That'll be, that'll be all I'll do for now. Sylvester. Sylvester is going to move back 30 feet. I don't know why it's saying 40 feet. Oh, yeah, it's because I moved you around a little bit. And it's, okay. So you're good. Move back 30 feet to get away from the front line. I'm going to use my action to command my little guy, Michael, to poison, well, to sting this hobgoblin at advantage because he's invisible. Okay. Uh, that is a 24. Uh, that hit. will hit. Let's that's see. Five if... piercing damage. It's going to take a con save. Con save failure. Okay, so that's going to be a total of 12 damage. How do you dispatch of the hobgoblin? Oh, my God. Uh, just Great. a clean sting to the neck. Shit. Well, uh, we're not taking that one alive, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Head oh. explodes with poison. <laughs> okay, so this one is already bloodied. So it, it's like there's a moment he moves ahead, takes pause for a bit, like, is this the thing I should be doing? And then just continues charging. Uh, Tommy. Arrow's going fly flying. That's a critical hit on Tommy. Oh. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, um... That's 22 I, points of damage to yeah, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy goes down. Yeah, uh, 22 oh exactly. Tommy's unconscious. <laughs> yeah. That hobgoblin's really glad he actually committed. Gabriel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Seeing Tommy go down, 
and seeing the one that Turg is fighting, uh, that's probably going to be the one that's going to get knocked unconscious. So once again, consuming two sorcery points to quicken spell, we're going to Scorching Ray again. Okay. Uh, first one's going to be against the this lab. Let's see it. Uh, miss. That's wish. Same, uh, same Ray. Miss. Ooh, baby. Same Ray. Hit. For two points of damage. Yes, sir. Uh, and then we are going to, with my main action, uh, we are going to Ray of Frost him. All Actually, right. I'm going to Ray of Frost this one. Okay. That hits one point of damage. His movement speed is reduced by 10. Okay. And actually, he would have actually gotten up there. And I'm gonna... Okay. Uh, Hobgoblin's turn. Hobgoblin's gonna go in for the swing uh, over on Turg. Let him come. 18 to hit. Miss. All right. Tommy, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna do a, a private death saving throw for you. Yeah. Okay. Michael. Michael is going to fly over to Tommy. I'm not gonna take any chances with this, and we just got a new health potion and Michael has potions on him mm -hmm. so I'm going to have to use his action to use another one of my potions okay on top alright and just, just to ver double check how many potions does he have I think I have Michael carrying all of my potions no okay. I think I have him carrying all but one of my potions I gotcha so he has he, he will have one potion left okay and let me just confirm the invisibility uh, yeah, okay, so it's my action to use a potion on top of her. Okay. Uh, okay, so that is Michael's whole deal. Okay. Tommy sits up. I thought of a new recipe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's time. It's Let time. Him come. It's time. Oh, you want to Critical miss. Your bastards, I set up the dragons! Uh, the one ahead of me, <laughs> I'm gonna swing with my blade. Oh, yeah, let me roll, uh, before you do that, did you think mm. of a new recipe, or did you get a horrible, debilitating injury, Tommy? Um, Let's find I... out. Oh, yes! Please! Okay, sorry, I'm delighted. Yeah, me too. Tommy's ribs are broken. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's got broken ribs. Oh, Did he take an injury? He took an arrow, right? Uh, I know the idea that he took an arrow potion? and the fool made him break his ribs. Uh, the health potion does it is considered magical healing. Okay. Yeah. So oh. you broke your ribs. DC ten. You must make a DC ten Constitution to make an action. Uh, you lose your action. Can't uh, you, um, on a failed save. You lose your action. Can't take reactions. So start your next turn. Injury heals if you receive magical healing. So the potion will have mended the broken ribs. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> Never punished. Never punished, Tommy. <laughs> the only thing that fells Tommy is a nat 20, dude. Holy. <laughs> oh, uh, how do you dispatch? That's the guy above me. Yeah, how do you dispatch with this hobgoblin? <laughs> oh, he wasn't. I didn't see bloody on him. Uh, yeah, I know. No, yeah, you just You, you just cleaved him. him with one hit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no, just, just straight cut. And I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna turn oh, to the next guy. Her. And I'm gonna flip the sword upside down so I'm using the hill because I'm gonna go for a knockout. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this guy. Oh they're not bloody. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I You're just sure. really good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna action search and I'm okay. gonna swing the next guy. Let's see it. Uh and yeah, this one uh <laughs> will be knocked <laughs> unconscious. Nerf him! Him loads. <laughs> Fucking hell. And then I'm just going to point like a finger straight to the other guy and just start marching. Holy shit. All right, uh, Sylvester. Sylvester is going to just take a blast at the dude. Okay. Running towards menacingly. Mm -hmm. That's a nat one. That's a nat one, baby. Sometimes it's like that. 
Sometimes it is like that. Uh, you go screaming. This one also goes screaming. Ah! Like these, <laughs> these and they just be, and you two just yeah, you two begin clashing swords immediately. <laughs> oh shit! A warrior's end. Ah! Twenty one. Uh, it does hit, but I'm going to use my parry to reduce the damage by a d8 plus my dex. I don't think I actually put my Okay, dex. okay, let's so, see it. Uh, I only took one point of damage. Uh, and then with a martial advantage, an additional three points as he finishes the cleave. Oh! So four points of damage. I do Dakota. Gabriel. Uh, seeing him there and seeing Turgon that we've successfully knocked out one uh we're going to cast chill touch on this one okay uh miss miss oh my miss high AC, but... understood um okay uh yeah that's my turn okay uh, Tommy. Um, Tommy, would. Am I allowed to rule, Sloy? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, I don't think uh, Turk would have taken three damage from Martial Advantage because I think it has flanking rules. Once per like, turn, um... the Hobgoblin can deal extra damage to a creature and hits with a weapon if that creature is within five feet. Oh, you are correct. Okay. No, 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 oh. please, no, please, please oh, rule. Please, rules lawyers, please. Okay, I just didn't want to be impolite. No. Uh, Tommy's going to cast Crossbow Bolt on this fellow. Mm -hmm. Kill! I know kill who I'm Tommy. going after next. Yeah, kill Tommy. <laughs> kill, Tommy, kill! <laughs> Tommy does not kill. Hmm. Also, I don't know why that double sent. It doesn't matter either way. Oh, it's because you were firing at disadvantage. Oh, fair enough. Because you were prone on the ground. Oh, right. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Even then, the 13 wouldn't hit. Michael! Yeah. Here he goes. And invisible. <laughs> Excellent. Unconscious. Turd. <laughs> he slams the sword in you. goes <laughs> down. I'm going to swing the sword back around and go, I don't need one of you. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. oh my he goes for the so swing, you say that, and he just like raises an eyebrow. And then how do you kill him? <laughs> just lop the head off, and then I'm gonna put the blade strike back in. I'm sick to death. The people are starving our sleep. <laughs> just march back over here to start angrily tying this guy up. Oh my! He hasn't had a good night's rest in a while. So. <laughs> I need... Only need one of you. I only need one of you. <laughs> the head goes flying. End of the encounter. I don't think I've ever seen a goblin that big before. <laughs> I don't think I have either. I thought I thought the buck bears were the big ones. So I've always seen those. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they have anything interesting on them. Uh, on their on their person, uh, for Gabriel, that would be looting them. Uh, each of them is wearing a suit of chainmail, a shield, a longbow, and a longsword. Chainmail, as in the heavy armor chainmail. Hmm. I mean, we'll ride my fandom. <laughs> You're gonna go back. <laughs> We've I can actually so see Fandolin from here. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's going to zoom out the map and the, the closest building is literally just to find that tree. I think the <laughs> meme might be interested in this. Oh, uh, shit. That's, All right. Of course, if we wanted to. So you're, you're shaking him up. He, uh, uh, he's tied up. Uh, let's see. Does he know? And he goes, Ugh! Uh, I thought it was a nightmare. A stinking ugly dwarf right above me. I stinking yes. Ugly dwarf yes. Right above you yes. <laughs> oh. Why haven't oh, you dispatched of me? Hey. Come on. What? Huh? 
convince him to tell you what I know. G- give him the what? <laughs> He's trying to tell you to convince him to tell you where the castle is. <laughs> Tommy, okay. <clears throat> Tommy turns away for a second. Um, oh, and when, when he looks back, <laughs> uh, he, um, uh, his eyes are full of sparkles. He leans <laughs> back a little bit. Can, can, can you direct us to your castle? Please? Are you attempting to intimidate or persuade? Persuade! <laughs> <laughs> I will need you to roll that persuasion at a disadvantage, please. Oh. I know. I know. Um. Fuck. Oh my god. No, Wait. I'm sorry, that's that's advantage. I pressed the wrong one. I thought shift was advantage and like alt was disadvantage. Uh control um, is disadvantage. I get oh, the confused. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's looking. Scrunches his nose up. And he goes, Castle? What castle? Alright, um, well if you don't have any information, I think we're just gonna have to kill him. Uh, yes, go, I ahead, mean... go ahead and roll an intimidation at advantage now, Tommy. <laughs> Oh, castle. Yeah, I, I know. I I know what you're talking about. What are you oh, talking hello. about? Where That's is horrible. where is this castle? Can I inside check him by the way to see if he's like? Yeah, yeah, go for lie. it. Yeah. That better be baby. Uh, he's generally trying to figure out what you're trying to find out, so that. He may or may not know about it. So he's trying to figure out, like, because he might be looking for a different castle than the castle he knows about. Pragma Castle, where is it? His face sours. And he goes, Oh, you're looking for Kragma? And you'll free me? Sure. Our leader has changed. We were actually a separate band on our own. We separated from Kragma some time ago. If you'll free me, so that I may live another day, I will show you where it is on the map. You don't think that a band of four decorated individuals wouldn't also be enemies of your your failed chieftain? We could have been allies. And there's something on your on his face you do not recognize. And if you'd like to make an insight check, you can. And sure. he'll and he'll state, "I got no interest going back there." You see fear in his eyes. What's your name? My name is Fuck You Crown. That's what my name is. Uh, Jesus. Your name's Brett? Oh, that's cool. That's a weird <laughs> goblin name. I've never heard that one before. Oh, it felt so good being on the other side of that. Also, shut the fuck up, Junie. Uh, Dear Google, <laughs> goblin names, please. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. My. Uh, cool. All right, cool. You point on the map where this castle is. And tell us a little bit more about your chieftain fellow. I'm a bit tied up at the moment. Why don't you let me go? He looked at her. Yeah, I don't step up with that. If he talks the way, I'm going to cut his legs off. Yeah, if you run, uh, you're going to be snuffed out, like, immediately. Yes, I'll have Michael chase you down invisible. I can poison you, you the way I poisoned that one. Genuinely, no chance of survival. Eh, no, I'm give you a dishonorable, uh, you know, you know, shit in the grave. You gonna, sh- you gonna shit in my grave? Is that what you just it, said to me? Uh, I don't uh, even bury this one. Very well. I'm on time. <sighs> He'll stand up. Now show, show me your map. Uh, right now, 
I can't tell if Kragma's the scariest thing or if you are. Looks at Tommy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, furry man, show me. Show me your map. Do we have a map? I would assume you'd have a map of some sort. That's how like, you've been okay. navigating. Yeah, that's how you've been navigating. Been following the stars. Yeah, I've been looking at signposts. <laughs> um, reach into the bed, unfold it, hold it out. All right. Uh, and with that, the hobgoblins will give you. The hobgoblin will give you direction to Cragmaw Castle. And you do not need to go to Thunder Tree anymore. Okay. As you now know the location of Cragmaw Castle. Can you tell us a little bit more of your... Not this band, your old band. Hmm. There's still some loyal to them. To the, to the Cragmaw King. But there was something... Something I saw in, in King Grohl's chambers that gave me pause. It was enough to make me realize he's not keeping a pet, but might even be in communion with the beast. It was this, a floating brain with a beak in the meat. It flew around the darkened room. And he was keeping that thing as a pet. I even saw him feeding one of the Kragmaw goblins to it. Your own people? Hmm. The goblins are a nuisance. I don't mind admitting that. But to have them feeding this monstrosity, goblin kind, hmm. that I could not abide by. He's changed ever since the black spider came. Can I roll something to see if I knew it? You go, you go. I'm, a, I'm sympathetic. Maybe we should actually let this one go. I, I... Why are you discussing it? That was the deal. Unless you're I, just well, yeah. simple bandits. I'm not a simple bandit. Says the one skulking in the dark core. <laughs> What I you do need is to shoot this one so bad he almost died. <laughs> what I do is survival. Not that good at it. <laughs> he just, he'll give you that sour that expression he's got right now. <laughs> he's giving it to you, but he's just not saying anything. Okay. Up you go. He looks at everyone. Make sure no one has an objection as he slowly begins stepping back. I think Thomas's finger twitches. Steps well, back. Uh, leave your friends set and come back and marry them another day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, he'll just run off. Hmm. I have 300 feet to decide my decision. <laughs> 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 Someone taking a shot? <laughs> Hands itching, beginning to coalesce with shimmering ice magic, and then eventually... Are we all say, sure about this one? If you let him go, I will subtract 100 experience from your total, by the way. Take him down. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The howitzer's <laughs> fire. Oh, <laughs> my life. <laughs> and yeah, oh. the, the bodies are scattered all around. Despite well, sleep somebody will come clean those up. 
gift for the dragon. Step. I don't know if I should leave butters then. Might fall all the time. Hmm. Um, I have a really stupid question. Uh, yeah. Is, uh, is something that eats goblins inherently good? Oh. Uh, a philosophical question, maybe. What even was it? He said a brain with a beak. That eats goblins. <laughs> Have I ever heard of a brain with a beak? Um, go ahead and give me a arcana check. I do have proficiency. That's a natural one. <laughs> I have no information to give you. Sounds ghastly, whatever it is. But if it eats goblin, I guess it can't be too bad. Fine. Well, that or it's just not very picky. <laughs> Fair. Uh, yeah, search the bodies before going to bed. All right. Give me one second. Uh, so we'll, I, is this, is it safe to say that, uh, you want me to just give all of this to, to, uh, Turg? Yeah, yeah. I, I can carry it. All right, let's begin then. Uh, well, maybe I can. We'll I find out. Wearing plate. Uh, I wear so, chain mail. Uh, four chains, oh, okay. uh, which immediately overcovers you if you take uh, all of those. Oh my god. No, does it only. It uh, overcovers yeah, me by. Five pounds a piece. Yeah. I don't think we should carry those. I think Damn. dropping all four of those. <laughs> That's money, baby. What are you doing? How much do they sell for? Is Your... their weight to body ratio a good idea? You should. You could. You can definitely make a uh, uh, investigation check to see if you can gather the the price of chainmail. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. There you go. Um. I will. Oh, you're, oh, you're wearing split armor. Never mind. Didn't you start with chainmail though? Did you start with chainmail? Yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Chainmail is 75 gold pieces. You can sell it to the market for 30, for 37 point, uh, 37 gold pieces and five silver. That's seven, 10 days right there. Just for one set. Yeah, but like the pound to a uh, gold ratio is not very good, actually. I will remove this. Uh, you're able to carry everything else, though. The four long bows, four long swords and four shields. Oh, we could drop. Two you, of the sets would that do you good, or you can carry uh, one of the sets? Other. You can, can carry, carry one set. <laughs> yeah, you can carry one set. Ah, I mean, one's better than nothing. Yeah, I, I mean, I can just dump it later if we need to. Yeah, works for me. All right, you will leave the three chain mails behind. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. How frequently do we? This is a path we've traveled multiple times, right? Right. How opposed are you guys to just? Having a little like Tarkov, like hide bag. it, hide it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good idea! Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We huh. can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you want to have three chain mails here, or is that correct? Like a rust stash. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it like under a tr like under a tree. We'll dig a little bit, find some rocks or something, hide it away. Okay, then I shall place it within this uh, hidden storage of this map. As you bury bury it away. All right. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, are you uh, resting for the evening? Yes, please. All yeah, right. Uh, good night, rest. All right. Long rests abound. Then. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Take a rest. Take a rest. Take a rest. Whew. Okay. Oh my god, Tommy. <laughs> Eight in the morning. No longer night. Now daylight. Uh, do you guys continue your travels? Uh, I will be right back, but I'm going to go with whatever the party wants to do. Okay. Yeah, I think we should probably just <clears throat> press yeah. onwards towards Krog. 
uh, Kragmaw. Yeah. Kragmaw? All right. Let me just check the map real quick to let you know where Kragmaw Castle is. Could it possibly be by the crags? Yo, if it actually Wait is. Wait a fucking minute. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> is it in the crag? Oh, I hope it's not in what the crags. What a waste of our goddamn time if it ain't. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, Kragmaw Castle is right. Sorry. Kragmaw Castle is right over here. Oh! Huh. Okay. It would literally right, be one day's travel uh, right here in the forest. Oh, damn. That ain't the crags. That ain't the crags. All right, roll out Autobots. We're going to get there by dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh,. <laughs> That'll be enough travel for you guys to get there. Um, within, right. let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, it'll, you'll get there. Uh, you'll get there in the evening. Nice. Ooh. All right. So uh, with uh, crowned AFK, uh, do you guys want to take a small small break? Yeah, yeah sure. Sounds good. Also, sounds can good. I use half of my movement speed to unprone myself? Oh yeah, absolutely. She's just been crawling on the <laughs> ground like a freaking worm. You're just, you're, just t- you're just rolling around. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's been like he's like uh, been getting into something called squirming. <laughs> We're taking a break. I'll be I'll be right back. <laughs>
We're unmuted. Okay, now we're unmuted. Did he crit you for 22? Critted yeah, him for 22. Exactly. Yeah. Crown was over here about to ski, but I'm like, chat's gonna want to know what you guys are plotting. Yeah, so, maybe a change of plans? I don't really know yet. I, I leave it up to you all to discuss. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm down to do a swing back around, but... Uh... I will tell you that is you drive back to Fandolin at the end of the day. Um, you and then to go back up to the forest would be a potential uh, encounter roll. Uh, Every the next time we day. walk on this fucking trail, something horrible happens. Eh, I mean, it's what just a good Never an encounter roll. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a guaranteed encounter. That is cor that is correct. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a swing back around. Let's go. Yeah, swing back off. around. Tell him that there's a weird brain right, thing. Pop. Ask him okay. if he knows anything. Maybe oh, okay. grab him. Uh, so Sildar would reward. What was the reward again? You said you had the notes, uh, Crown. Yes, let me check. Nine thousand XP. <laughs> That's no. that was it. That was it. Uh, <laughs> I will be adding a hundred and twenty-five experience to your total for the hobgoblins that you did slay, because this will be another long Ooh. rest. Four to five is a long time, right? Long uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so you all are now at 2,881. 2, I want to say it was like... Like 100. k isn't it? Oh, 6.5k uh, to get to five. Okay, it's, it's pretty far. Yeah, still, it's still very far. Get the experience there. Okie dokie, and mm. then... Let me go to okay, our apologies. chat. I yes. didn't have a comma in my notes. Um, it's 500 for the location and the removal of yes. the goblins. So you, you ain't getting paid now. Turn it back around. <laughs> Up, up the brakes. So you are not going back to Fandolin. Is that correct? Handbrake, drift along mm. the road. Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> We swerve around Fandle and we go get a health potion and then we go back. Well, you, so you would like to grab a health potion? Seems like what everyone wants unless we're... I mean, I'm fine to fucking gun it, dude. I'm down. I leave it up to yeah. you. Yeah, same. I, I feel like all of us have sort of middling neutral opinions about this. Except for Crown, who has a very strong opinion about it. So I'm down <laughs> to go back to Fandolin. <laughs> I just think offloading the gear that would free up Turg in terms of equipment and movement speed uh, and more potential loot for him to carry. Another health potion, just in case. Mm -hmm. And then, if nothing else, informing Sildar and maybe learning about whatever the fuck the brain is with the beak. Let's do it. Hmm? He's so vague when he says yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, what he it. wants. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, dude. Pack it up. Um, Pack it up, folks. We're going back, back to the Let's fucking tower. get it, dude. Let's roll. Let's <laughs> get what, it. What do you want? Where are we what, going? What? What is? Uh, what is it? Is just what I'm curious about. We're going. Yep, we're going back to Fandolin. Roll out, Autobots. All right. So you're going to go back to Fandolin to offload the gear. Is that correct? Very good. Uh, so that'll be. I'm just going to add 150 gold pieces to Turg. So that's 354 for Turg, with everything being sold. Excellent, excellent. Um, are you guys refilling your rations? Because at this point, you would have already spent two rations to kind of do this this little, yeah. this, this fun little U-turn. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. All right, then all I will have to do is... Do, 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 do. Let's see, where is player... Oh, nope, that's not in there. I have to actually go to the map. Okay. So that's another eight rations uh, taken. So you guys are currently sitting on 33 rations remains in your in your stores. You guys will uh, that'll be an, another day that you'll be there. You'll you'll spend you'll you'll uh, take the long rest, all that. So let me go ahead and boop, 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 boop. unless you're like leaving right at the evening hours. So up to you. Um, would you try to swing around and get that potion or are you guys taking a long rest at Fandolin at 430? I mean, we can get the potion same day, can we? Uh, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, about the boop. Right there, two-hour trip. 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Do that. All right. I'll put Who, out. Who's uh, buying the potion? How much are they? 50, uh, 50 gold pieces. I'll do it. All right. Who's holding the potion? You want Michael to keep on holding two? That yeah, I do like him having two. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Let me go ahead and grab Michael. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with this is now this is going to be actor data. Okay. So with Michael linked, I'm going to... Uh, Michael now has two healing potions at his disposal. Very good. All right. You guys will return back uh, in the direction of Phandalin. It is now 830 uh, would you like to travel to Cragmaw Castle? Uh, you'll arrive at four in the morning, or will you be taking a log rest? I do like nighttime crag. Uh, I think, <laughs> we, did, to I think no. we'd incur a point of exhaustion. <laughs> I think we should long rest before settling. Let's long rest and in then rest of Cragmaw at four a.m. All right, let's do, it, let's do it. So now it's four in the morning, crack of dawn. You guys are leaving and heading out to Cragmaw. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, it's yeah, it's like twelve in the in the. It's noon now, isn't that nice? High noon. High noon. All right. Brunch. <laughs> that sounds lovely. I think we passed at Denny's. Denny's would have a fucking location on the Tribor Trail. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Much better. Okay, so with that. Uh, you guys will arrive over at the castle. Let me go ahead and see if I can read this description real quick. As you kind of arrive over at the entrance, you kind of like look at everything over here. Uh, the uh, yeah, so let's do, you know, let's go do a, a map shift. So you guys are arriving to Cragmaw Castle. Sniper's post up. <laughs> Us in the back, loading yeah, our, just take our fucking take cows. peeks out of the fucking windows for a while while we just fucking <laughs> whittle them down. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna preload this sound. Preload this sound. Oh, well, that's the wrong one. Do, do, do. There you are. Not Cragmaw Hideout, Cragmaw Castle. Fragma Castle music. And then I'm going to make sure with the direction that you guys are in, I need to configure it here. Beautiful. You've arrived outside the castle. Uh, as you arrive outside of the ruins of the castle, uh, the castle... Uh, the castle consists of seven crumbling towers of different size and heights. But the upper stories are all in varying states of collapse. A short flight steps leads up to the terrace in front of the main entryway. Past the wreckage of a pair of sundered doors lies a shattered hall. Round towers loom around the entrance uh, entranceway with dark arrow slits looking down on the terrace. Can uh, I get some Michael scouting action? You sure can. I will take your eyes now as payment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. All right. Michael is invisible for this, correct? Yes. You have control of Michael, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Then you are free to explore. I want Michael to go into the door and start taking a look around. I just want to. All right. I'm going to. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to just uh, kind of pause and like explain rooms as you're exploring, if that's all right with you. Uh, all right. You've entered into the, uh, this hall. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Sorry. There we go. Doors stand closed to the north and south, and a crumbling mound of rubble uh, partially obscures the southern hall. To the east, a broad corridor ends in two more doors leading south and east. The corridor is cluttered with dusty rubble and fallen plaster from a partially collapsed uh, of the ceiling overhead. And then I need to check one thing. 
By the way, let me know if there's any checks you're making while you're kind of like looking around. I shall unpause, let you move around uh, further. Perception to see if there's any like enemies in the arrow slits, like anyone peeking through. Yeah. I'll, uh, I will help Turb with that. Okay. 14. All right, so Turd, well done, as you're kind of like looking through the arrow slits, uh, you do see movement in here and in here. Okay. And Michael can um, keep, continue to look around while you're doing that. Yeah, I'm going to have Michael take a peek in here because I see. Oh, there we go. Problems. I shall I shall present the next uh, room that you see now. Because you also see this fine fella over here, this sort of like goblin chef. And he's just kind of like, hey, can you hear through Michael? Let me confirm. All right. Uh, well, you, while your familiar is um, within 100 feet of you, you can communicate with it telepathically. Additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and here's what it hears. Uh, how far are you from the familiar now? Uh, that's what I was just checking. I'm still definitely within 100 feet. Oh, you're good to, to go. Basically yeah. to that goblin before. All yeah. right. Uh, the western portion uh, of the large hall ends with uh, in a wall of rubble but the remainder is still intact. This must have once been the castle's banquet hall with a soaring ceiling 20 feet, uh, feet high. Two large wooden tables with plain benches stand in the middle of the room and a uh, brass uh, brass brazier uh, full of glowing coals is tucked in one corner. Dirty dishes, half full stew pots, uh, moldy heels of bread and gnawed bones cover the table. And uh, yeah, you'll see that there is just a bunch of goblins just feasting while well, this one screaming and what you can assume is goblins as he's like feeding everyone and they're just kind of yeah they're just having a big old party right now okay i don't think michael's gonna want to open any doors i think that's that's gonna get that's gonna get eyes on us to mm -hmm. some extent if there's nothing on the other side so that looks to be about the extent that i can explore right now I'm going to have Michael hang tight here. Okay. Because if we were to engage the people in those uh, towers with the arrow slits, I'd have Michael sneak in from behind. Mm hmm. Okay. And then what is everyone else doing? I'm going to roll my portal. Portal. Uh, I'll let the guys know that. There's people up in the arrow slits as well and kind of go up against, like, try and find a blind spot against the wall. Mm hmm. Hmm. Are we. I assume we're wanting to be stealthy. Are we wanting to go through the front door? <laughs> it's probably it's not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> I just, I have the, my brain goes back to, yeah, we're going to meet with Clark. <laughs> That's uh, you know what? <laughs> you guys make the plan. Um, sorry, how many, there's, there's people behind both of these holes, right? Correct. Okay. How many? Uh, oh, that, that you don't know. You yet. just know there's there's movement. Okay. Oh. Did we have any plan when we found this place? No. <laughs> no. But, but, if we wanted to do this uh, not stealthy-like, uh, we could bait out a couple shots from the towers and I can magic missile them. I just need to be able to see him, that's all. That's nothing but what the fire. I only don't kill him with that. Hmm. Wait a minute. How high up are the tower bits? Uh, I would say at least 20 feet. Hold on. I've never really done a high jump, but let me check. Oh no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Let him. Let him cut. I have a calculator, actually. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can... Actually, I, I can give you the number. 
I can give you the I can give you the exact number. Okay. Uh looking, looking, looking. Do 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 Because I think if you move at least ten feet on foot immediately before the jump, I can do three plus your strength modifier. You're saying high jump, like actually yeah. g- try and leap up the oh Leap my. up there. <laughs> Hang oh by poke head, stab through eye. <laughs> I <laughs> stabs. I don't know if that's a good idea. I, I can't fit in that hole. Uh, yeah, so... Once you ascend up here, which I'm going to say is 10 feet, <laughs> so from where you are now, it would, it's 25 feet. So if you came up here, it's 15 feet. See, I could definitely leap up to that point. It's just, what do I do after that? <laughs> What's your strength score? Uh, it is... It's only 16. But, okay. uh, uh, which might help, but I also, those boots I'm wearing, um, you can jump three times the normal distance, though you can't jump further than your remaining movement will allow. So basically, I can jump my entire movement. Christ. If need be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I can get somewhere up high and let you guys up by like a, I don't know, rope? I'm realizing I left my rope. Can we, say, can we say we tried the hobgoblin up for the for the roleplay with like a bed roll? <laughs> the, you can, you untied the rope. You, you, didn't, you didn't leave with the rope. I don't see the rope in my inventory anymore. So I've got a feeling I might put that in when I put the gems away by accident. Oh, bud. Oh, bro. bro. I had rope. We have rope and a grappling hook in our bedroom supplies. (laughs) I have a blanket. I will. uh, I I will say you had the rope on you. You did make it. You did make it sound like yeah. I'm not gonna. I I know what I would have only had 25 feet because I remember cutting it in half. Yes. Um. I have mage hand. It's a projection of my own connection to the weave. I could carry the rope up. Oh. That's a really good idea. I, I'm up here. Uh, I scaled the wall. Can you fit in through the sled? Uh, can you make me tiny? Well, uh, I think so. No. <laughs> uh, no. No, I cannot. Maybe if we get your beard wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what if it's just like a skeleton under there? <laughs> no, no I, the beard's not that thick. Understood. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm... the arrow slits are 10 feet above. Okay, okay. They're still arrow slits, though. I ain't fit They're in They're still arrow slits. Yeah. In the front. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I'm all for the, the party entrance. Just yeah, we could just go in, in loud. But, um, that's a lot. Hey. Hey. What? How about... I'm not on the back. You're not on the back. Around the back? That might be by the power on. Maybe there's another way up. I'll follow your lead. Sneaky up the stairs. Maybe there's a rat hole somewhere we can fit into. So are you trying to squeeze around the, uh, the castle? Is it really built against the rock? Uh, no, you can actually squeeze through here and not up the stairs. Oh, oh okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was thinking this was a path by the look of it. Yeah, no, that's like a, a sheer side, like mountainous cliff. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, okay. yeah. But you can you can try and get there. It's great. Okay, so um, how far are you willing to go around the castle? Um, around one of the uh, the towers, just to see if there's like like a mossy wall or like you know a broken up wall or anything. 
So you would get right over here, which is right around the tower. Um, there's mm -hmm. still movement that you can go through, um, but there isn't an opening when you get over to this spot. Like, the path kind of continues on around here. Okay. Look. If there's anything about Fandova we've learned is that they always throw secret passages in some way. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, you found us through Redbrand, so I'm I'm down. I'm poking the wall the whole time around. Okay. So I how... have uh, control of Sylvester again. Uh, oh yeah, sir. Sorry, I forgot you were. I took your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I need them back. Here's... I'm gonna shove your eyes back in there. All right. So I need to know. Um, how far are you willing to go around the castle? I am willing to go probably until I see the next tower properly. Like around, so yeah, so you're going to go over here and then there's going to yep. be another like curved area that you can kind of like go around and then you can go over here. Okay, cool. Who's going with you? Uh, I think we should probably stick together. Yeah. So you, you all are there? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All, right. all right. I'll have uh, Michael return to me. Okay. I will move Michael to you now. Big oh. snake coming. I'll, uh, I don't know about the others. <laughs> the big snake. <laughs> but uh, I'll try to be quiet about yeah. it. Yeah. We're going to try and stealth. This huge fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, yeah. Everyone, roll me stealth checks. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. We'll see. Can I get a break? Okay. So that's uh. Mm, those are all some great rolls. Okay. Damn, Sylvester. All right. Uh, I shall uh, phase you out of existence for all for a moment. Yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So as you're kind of like looking and you're exploring around and you're trying to see uh, what's going there, uh, Tommy, mm -hmm. you will actually notice um, a slight opening from the broken end of the castle. Uh, and you believe you may have found yourself... Let me just take you over here. Ooh, another entryway. There's a break over there. Where are I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, right here. Oh. Uh, it looks like we might all be able to fit through it. Hmm. Got it. There you go. Key nice. Hey. All right. I'll slip to the front just in case. Okay. Mm. Let me pause real quick as you step into this uh, this this ruined tower. Uh, the tower is almost completely collapsed, although the ground floor still has little open space. Rotting crates and ancient barrels show the provisions were once stood here. A heavy curtain blocks a crumbling area to the south, which um, to the south, and an intact door leads east. To the north, a short passage to the rubble ends before a screen of canvas. So you're kind of like, you've actually just like moved the canvas over uh, to get over here. So this, there was like a there was like a canvas over here, and you just kind of were able to either oh. move or tear tear that over to open this to get to this area. Nice. Okay, yeah, shifting it aside. I don't think we'd break it. I'm gonna cast a dark vision on myself. Okay. Darkness. Yes. It is for me. Oh, I have. Uh, uh, if that's the case, pitch blackness. I am going to go up to here and snuff out this light. Yeah. Why do you see your light there? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Upon entering this place, I'm also going to cast Armor of Agathus. Okay, so you got an Armor of Agathus? Yeah. All right. Can you give me my Dark Vision? 
You don't have a... Oh, yeah, you don't have dark vision? Then allow me to give you dark vision, 60 feet. Woo! Can you see now? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, 10, uh, 10 temporary hit points up already applied. Thank you to Sylvester. And then uh, go ahead and cast the dark vision spell, Tommy. Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, do you have dark vision now? Um. Doesn't look like it. No. <laughs> then I will give you dark vision now. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. That's what everyone sees. Welcome to our world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's gray. <laughs> I'm gonna check what's in these barrels. See if they've got any storage here that they might frequent. Okay. Um, yeah, so in there, all you find is, like, old, rotted provisions as you're kind of, like, tearing through the area. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna kind of turn over and kind of move up. It's all rotten for them. I'm in them. I'm coming out there. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> They're probably keeping watch on this door if they knew this was broken open. But it's probably less than the front gate, at least. We at least had to look for this. Uh, also, boss, I can't move my token. How about now? Now I can. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm going to know how to do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you got two doors, one to the east and one to the south. Which one's it going to be, she? Which one's it going to be? Oh, all right. All right. Either way, we're gonna have to go in loud. How loud do I go in? Oh, it's more of a figure of speech. Oh. All right. If we're going in loud, I'm going to prepare to blast the first thing I see. B2. Uh, yes. And thus I did. All right. I'm ready to open the door. You're free to do holding so. A, holding a chill. Open touch. the door. I'm going to kick it open. Okay. Are you kicking the door open? <laughs> oh, we're going in. Oh, we're actually going oh, in loud? Oh, going, going in. All right. You guys say loud. I, th I think loud. You want to go in loud? <laughs> we said oh, loud. Really? <laughs> loud and proud. Run just, up. Just do it, man. Door. Just do it. <laughs> All right. You enter a uh, intersection. Kill. Kill, Turk. Oh, no. Check him. Another dog. Oh. <laughs> uh, snuff out this light. All the water in it. Okay. I, I have... Uh, connection to do that. You have a door to the south and a door to the east. I prepare again. Which doesn't want me to get down. Do your by, method you did before. Um, when you're preparing again, uh, let me know if you're prepared. I need to know uh, exact prepared actions and what the trigger is. If I see a living creature that is not obviously tied up and a prisoner on the other side of this fucking thing, they're getting blasted. Alright. I'm gonna spend my action kick in the door. Just try and, oh. I'm gonna try and go in there scary. That's what my yeah. plan is. I'll, I'll already a crossbow bolt. Uh, same trigger if I just see something. Alright. So, uh, as, unit. as you kick in the door... Uh, awaiting for you after you kick the last door. Um, <laughs> is ah! what you find to be a dire wolf, uh, a bugbear, uh, which seems to be wearing an old crown, 
uh, a drow, uh, which you recognize, Tommy, as the black spider. Shit! Oh <laughs> no. my no. god. No, 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 no. bloody dwarf off in the corner, and they're all ready to fight with you. So, um, prepared actions will not be happening at this moment, because we... Uh, we'll stop there for today because you guys have once again oh, skipped yeah. the entire dungeon. We <laughs> wait, 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 found wait, 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 the wait, 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 wait. room. <laughs> we found singing. the boss rush room. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know what? Best time to find it when we're fresh. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely, it's actually genuinely. Yeah, we got, got all of our, our spell slots. We're, uh, we're full HP. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and roll uh, initiative for everyone. So we got something to look forward to next week. That's actually wild well, we've done that twice. Da got good good rolls, Tommy. All we gotta do is get around that corner and hold person the black spider. <laughs> hey, we hold 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 We've got that ported. We got that ported. We just get over there. Uh by the way, we went ahead and got custom art done for King Grawl. Um as oh, well. Shit, I can't see him from this as well. He looks cool. Oh, you can no! actually. I can see him. He looks and, cool, guys. And Snarl, yeah, which is his uh, dire wolf companion. Princess. Yep. We got new. Art. We got art done for him. So yeah. Uh, Bro, yeah. I'm gonna throw up. We're gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, this is the best case scenario. Best case scenario. This shit okay, is hilarious. Right. This shit is. <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, All right, well, that ra wraps up today's session of uh, <laughs> Lost Minds of Pandelver Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> this is the equivalent of a unannounced raid. Yep. This is FBI at your house. You look every, outside. Every time. You see the SWAT van. What the every... hell is that? As your window gets shattered, a flashbang gets Why thrown in. Why does it in. keep happening? <laughs> We, we if we survive with? this, we need to make our party name based around how we just get <laughs> straight <laughs> to the end. Holy shit. Uh, Lost Minds Fan Delver Session 11, a new face, a new story. Am I sharing the bingo screen? Yep. Excellent. Yep. Uh, Sylvester no longer casts magic unintentionally. Uh, I don't huh. think I don't think we saw him do that this time, so I'll check it. Party mm. gets backstabbed by someone? No. Brett takes emotional damage. I don't remember. I don't think so. <laughs> I think he did. Clutch mm -hmm. port and roll always. Aggressive turg noises. Yep. One of the players <laughs> talks about Gabriel being a twink. God, you're so predictable, Sorry. Junie. Sorry. <laughs> so fucking predictable. <laughs> Murder home hobo moment. Nope, nope. But they, we were close. Oh, close. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cursed RP. Was there cursed RP? No. Okay. Tommy regrets wanting to see a witch. What? You a witch? See I don't remember. What that. is oh. he a dragon, maybe? You, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Cursed. I want right. to see witches and dragons. <laughs> he hasn't seen a witch yet. No. Yeah. Uh, Tommy has survivor's guilt. I. Um, does he? What if he didn't? Would that be sick? Oh. That's, not, uh, that's your character. Oh. No, I'm kidding. That's he totally does. Down <laughs> <that dark side. laughs> Castle location has been found and is or about to be known. We're in. <laughs> we're, we're so far ahead of that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> surprise, no surprise round. Uh, but well, you guys, we could have, though. Yeah, you absolutely could have. You're like, I'm kicking the door. I'm like, all right, go for it. Uh, recovering lost loot uh, was talked about but didn't happen. Sylvester does another wacky old man move. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to say no. Do it for the XP? No. Uh, do it to live. Uh, we did. I think we got a nat 20, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do we have this item? That's the rope. Uh, Turg takes up the role of party leader. Yes. Oh, okay. Turg's party leader. Uh, Nat one. Yes. Yep. Gabriel goes down in his first combat. Nope. I Tommy's bodied those hobgoblins. Tommy's mental state continues to go in a downward spiral. No, dude. Look. He bounces back hard. Cryovan gets the minimum roll for being inactive. Five days. Nope. Six days. Close. People need to make a double take on what Turk said all the time. Sorry. And then someone gets eaten. Uh, yeah, that was last session, though, so nothing to worry about. Yeah, I didn't. Well, technically, Veldrin's still getting eaten for another five days. No. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll check that off. Uh, yeah, so no bingo. Close a couple of times, but, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, guys, we will be back next week for this uh, this fucking madness. Should be a good time. 
And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, for playing. Thank right you for on. running, Chief. Thanks for running. All right, I'll see you thank guys you. next Bye -bye. time. Bye. Bye. Bye.